Welcome to Peace in the Valley, where adventure starts at home. Hello everybody, this is Bryce from Peace in the Valley. I hope you enjoy this video. We're going to do something a little bit different today. Uh, we just got in a new uh, piece for our trailer that makes it much, much better. So right now, as you have seen in previous videos, we put in the D-rings that you can see. We welded those on. And we put 10 of those on and that made it much, much better. Today, we got in a triangle trailer toolbox. It is right here and it's going to fit on the front of the trailer. So, so this is really turning the trailer into something useful. This will help us eliminate the, all the excess that sits in the van right now that I've been keeping in there even though I may not be using it every day. So this here will allow us to put all the contents in here such as our straps and well our stone down here, the chocks for the wheels and toolbox, lots of stuff will go in here now. And what we're going to do is we're going to mount it on here. So keep watching and I think you might find something useful in this too. You can see how large it is inside. This here will bolt down here on and uh, it'll mount right to the tongue of the trailer right here. So we're going to get started and bolt that down. checking to see that I don't drill through any of the wires. It would probably help if I had a battery. Thank you. 
Okay. Perfect. Okay. This project may end up being faster than I thought. Surely something's going to screw up. something would go wrong. Apparently, these bolts are too soft or the hole is not big enough. So, that's too bad. Thought for sure that this would work. Maybe we need to drill the hole out larger. But we're definitely going to have to do something about that. I said use a 3 16 And this says 3 16 on it. Just twisted right off too. Well, so far, two for two. Okay, we'll see if we can go up one through one larger. We'll use a strep, step drill bit this time. Oh my goodness, the bit broke off. Just going well. Okay. Well, we're going to get some new bolts. We're going to get a new bit and we're going to get this figured out. So I'll see you back in a little bit. On what we thought was going to be a simple job yesterday has turned out to be uh, not quite so simple. I don't think it's actually, uh, it sometimes happens. So I broke a bit, my step bit, and I broke two of the screws. So right now we're gonna go and see if we can finish. I got some more screws and I got my other step bit. And we're gonna try to fix all this now.
Well, we finally got it finished. This thing that I thought, and I said earlier, that it's going too good, I, it, it was at that time. And then all of a sudden we broke, start breaking bolts. So I think we broke four sheet metal screws and two or three drill bits. Uh, the product itself is called the DZ and it is a trailer toolbox that fits on the tongue of your trailer. So you saw the inside while I was working on it. It's very spacious. I believe it's waterproof or mostly waterproof. I think it's going to be really good. However, the installation has a lot to be desired. And maybe it's just because it's maybe it's just me. They tell you what you need on here and what you get, and that's good. It says you need a 3 16th drill bit, and you got to be very careful. A 3 16th is what you need, but if you go with the quarter inch, which is what I did, I uh, excuse me, I went with the 3 16th and I broke off all those bolts. I bought, let's see, it came with four bolts. I bought three more. I've used them all. So I've broken three bolts off and had to use an extra one. Or is that four? That must be four. So I, I had to use a, a bolt and a nut for uh, that I had already. I really think that this would have been much better if a couple of things one that maybe we just use u-bolts that way we're not drilling into the frame of the trailer the other thing that i think uh, could have made a difference is that we just drill in and attach it with a bolt and a nut and a, a lock washer rather than using sheet metal screws what happened was the sheet metal screws would basically get embedded into the metal and into the iron steel of the tongue here and there's nothing you could do about it they just cranked right off I thought it was because I used the drill so then I thought well maybe if I use the impact wrench it won't hit so hard or it won't be giving it so much force now same thing happened so then as you saw in the video if you watched the whole thing we twisted it and it broke right off even with our just our socket set and I think and I, I wasn't this is not even that long of a handle this is all the handle I was doing and it still broke off so I don't think that's the best method of attaching but even so I think the device itself is good uh, the the box itself I think there's plenty of room in here I'll be able to store my jacks I'll be able to store uh, my straps, chains, the chocks, tools, I think it'll be great. Get them out of the vehicle. And the other thing is, is at least on the AMO trailers, you can still turn this completely around without hitting your hand. I was kind of worried. Am I going to hit my hand? The answer is no. I don't hit my hand. So that this is the size I think is just about perfect. Uh, but the installation, uh, you can't go up to a quarter of an inch bit unless you're going to actually use bolts and uh, lock washers and nuts. Anyhow, thank you for joining me. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please give me a like, a thumbs up, a share, 
anything that you do subscribe and then make sure you also uh, turn on notifications so that you know when the next video is coming out. Thank you. God bless and have a great day.